Welcome back. So, when I think about talking to a family of elves, three things come to mind. First of all, you'd have to know some polite expressions to address the elders of the family. Secondly, you'd have to know how to hold your own during debates, so these kinds of phrases. And finally, specific cultural sentences, for example during mealtime and holidays. So, let's become a bit more cultured and learn a bit of all those kinds of phrases. And, of course, you can annoy your human family with them as well. Alright, let us begin with polite expressions. We've learned some already, but, you know, can you ever know enough? I mean, probably yeah, but let's do it anyway. So, firstly, as you probably remember, thank you is hang on le. But if you want to just say thanks, it's very simple and similar to the full thank you. And it's hang at. And although thanks isn't super polite, it's all about having better conversations and I think it can help immensely. Alright, maybe you also remember how to say forgive me, and it's go hang on in. But we've never learned how to answer if someone else says this to you. So, you could say umoye edavet. It is not necessary to forgive. Now, whether you're speaking with Legolas, or maybe it's him who's speaking to a king, these kinds of phrases can be super helpful. What do I have in mind? Basically, a way of politely addressing someone older or higher on the social ladder than you. For example, at the beginning or the end of a sentence, and to a man, you can say, My lord, hir nin. And to a lady, of course, My lady. And it's hir nin, my lady. The second word in both those phrases, nin, means my. As you probably remember, it's also in the sentence my name is. So, you can just memorize the first words of these phrases. That's why I think these are the easiest to yet. Alright, now transitioning a bit to the debate vocabulary, but not fully, we have expressions of appreciation. After someone has done something well, you can say well done, maie karnen. And if somebody has said something well, well, you know what's coming. Well said is maie penen. I like to think about it as congratulating someone for writing something great. Because, you know, you write with a pen. For me, it makes it easier to memorize. Now, we've arrived at the arguing station. Or we've signed up for the debate club, if you prefer. These phrases may seem a bit random, but I think they're very fun. First up, we have a strong one. Do not speak in Elvish is Vobedo. I like to associate it with Vito, and although the E's are pronounced differently, at least they are written similarly. And you can say that Vito has a similar meaning as well. Hope it helps. Next up, it is probably my favorite one of all time. If I would encourage you to memorize one of them, it would be this one. Even in English it sounds amazing. So, this phrase is Do not kindle anger in an immortal heart. And in Sindarin, it's Avothangoruth vigur alfirin. I mean, if that's not epic, I don't know what is. Now, I've also found some sort of answer to that. It's pretty short and simple, and it kind of works. And it is, you have a fiery spirit. Gerich fire vara. Actually, the second word, fire, sounds pretty much exactly like fire. So, you have a fiery spirit can also be pretty easy to remember. And finally, we have another savage one. Maybe you've heard this phrase before, and although it's not applicable in many situations, 
when it is, it is the best thing you can possibly say. So, I'm talking about, if I want something done, I'll do it myself. And it is, Aye anirong nad karneng, han keritong anim. It's almost an insult. Man, I should have included that in the insults episode. And now, we have the cultural references. Let's start with what you can say while having a meal. So, if you want someone to come and have dinner with you, you can say Tolo madogonin, come and dine with me. You can think of it as being go and dine with me, because of the go in the Elvish sentence. It can be easier to remember. Now, of course, we have to have a phrase meaning it's delicious. So, it is Mayer Ayes Heng. And literally, it's this food is delicious. And I think it's super applicable while you're eating chicken. Get it? And finally, something that 2011 Thor would say, fill my cup, is Pango i Hulning. I like this one. But alright, although there has been a lot of phrases already, we're still not done. So, let's do a lighting round of holiday vocabulary. So, happy birthday, literally joyous anniversary day, is Edinor Veren. Although, yeah, any anniversary will do. Next up, happy new year, or have a joyous new year, is Garo Itchrin Eden Veren. All these sentences are gonna have the word Veren in them, so, you know, it's a pretty important one. But alright, let's go, lighting round. Third up, happy Valentine's Day, is Ormeleth Vereng. And finally, we have Merry Christmas, one of the most important ones. Although, that's the easy version. Literally, it means joyous feast of the coming of the Son of God. Way to make it easy, elves. And it's actually pretty cool, so... Merry Christmas in Sindarin is Merethveren Edolet Eruyong. Alright, we are done. It's been a long one. And I love you for sticking with me so far. And yeah, I'm gonna make more of this. You convinced me. So, for now, see you next time.